And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mountain Zoe. That's right, we're going to be playing a Mountain Scryer Allegiance deck where we're going to be invoking the Celestials and we're sticking with Targon. We're playing all Targon, all 40 of our cards. Um, no other regions allowed, just Targon. Um, and of course, it's going to be a Zoe deck where we want to play 10 cards with different names and of course, invoking all of our Celestials will help us be able to play different cards with different names. Um, so let's talk about our deck a little bit. All right, so early game, we got Lunari Dustbringer in here that can create the Dust Petal Dust, which that can be an additional card for Zoe. So that's, an, that's another way to get, um, you know, to get towards the 10. But then we can, or we could also discard it for Spacey Sketcher to be able to invoke a Celestial card that costs three or less. That's pretty nice. As far as casting that card, we have two Nightfall cards in our deck. We have Lunari Priestess in here. Uh, we can make that cost less, and we also have Eclipse Dragon. Um, that's that's the other thing that we have for that. Um, but then our other invoke cards, we're going with both Priestess, both Lunari and Solari Priestess. Um, with both those, we have two Divergent Paths in here, which kind of look a little strange. But basically, the reason why we're playing Divergent Paths be is because of how good the Grand Plaza is. If there wasn't the Grand Plaza, we wouldn't be playing this card at all. But we're playing this because of the Grand Plaza to be able to destroy a landmark. And so since we're playing two of these to be able to destroy a landmark, we figure uh, maybe we should just throw like a landmark in here so we could draw one. And so we're gonna we're gonna play a Targon's Peak. Also Targon's Peak could be kind of nice in the, in the right matchup where we have all of these invoke cards and these celestial cards and we'll never run out. Like, so we'll have tons and tons of cards in our hand all the time. And so, you know, maybe our opponents are like running out of cards. So we can make our things cost zero. But, you know, like, we're not built around Targon's Peak or anything. It's it's only in here because we're playing Divergent Pass, and we're only playing Divergent Pass because of how good the Grand Plaza is. So <laughs> that's why the, that's why those are in our deck. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of removal with Sunburst. That card's kind of nice. Um, some good anti-aggro stuff with Solari Sunforger being a Daybreak uh, unit with Lifesteal um, and Star Shaping be able to heal our Nexus a little bit. And then our top end, our top end does work with our one at Targon's Peak, but Eclipse Dragon can make a bunch more dragons and celestial followers for us. Infinite Mind Splitter can uh, do some stuff like stopping like a Fiora. There's like the Fiora Targon decks are kind of popular these days. You can throw down an Infinite Mind Splitter against Fiora. And of course, Aurelian Soul does all of its space doggy stuff. So that's that's our deck. Mountain, Zoe, Mountain Scryer, Zoe, all Targon. Uh, so here we go. Let's, we got the Mountain and the Stars in Targon. All right, playing against some Vehu and Dur. So we have two Hush. Yeah, two Hush. That could be good against Vehu and Dur. Uh, this is a good opening hand, though. We'll keep it all. Keep it all. All right, I'll just play the Zoe first to be able to just attack with the Zoe. I'm not really uh, going to trade with this hapless aristocrat with anything. Mountain Goat. I guess I could play Mountain Goat first. I guess I could have played Mountain Goat first. All right, well, definitely playing it because of Elise. Um, you know, I was planning on playing Duskbringer into Spacey Sketcher. I don't really want to discard the gem. I could see the gem being important, like that kind of thing, like having my Duskbringer be able to trade with an Elise. Let's get the Trickster. Thanks, Jeff X Ultimate. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's. I don't know. I'm, this is this is my job. My job is to win with random decks that people send me, and it's a it's a pretty nice job. But yep, that's that's what we do around here. Oh, 
Okay, so that makes my super cool star chart cost one less mana. I'm just gonna cast this gem on this Lunari Duskbringer. And I guess I'll just play the other Lunari Duskbringer too. So I'm casting. So basically, this Duskbringer can block Elise. This 2 1 can block the Doom Beast. Saving Hush for they who endure. Everyone's a god. You dare. Do I want to hush one of those? Keep it, keep them from killing my Zoe. Is that important? Because I, I could go stun and hush. But then I don't have hush for they who endure later. But maybe I don't need hush for they who endure later. I'm going to be really sad if we do have Crescent... Okay, <laughs> if we did have Crescent Strike here, if I could have just gotten the, the double... The double hush, I would be really sad. All right, but going to take Equinox. So we have we have Equinox now against They Who Endure. Come, come this way. I must get out of here. Hush now. All right, we'll make obvious blocks. You cannot hold us down. Go written in stars. Scourge could cost nine mana. I'll go with that. In each stone and star. Create some Behold the Infinite that cost zero mana. Hmm. Ridden Stars would cost three. Let's get one of these things to block. The charger is unyielding. Give them all Overwhelm. I guess I could have gave this 2 1 Overwhelm too, but that doesn't, doesn't matter in the slightest. play right now. Okay, let's see. You can block you. You can block you. You can block you. I go to eight. Okay. Zoe, no. Really, Eclipse Dragon? Couldn't have had you last turn when I had nothing to do. Uh, I th so it's basically either Daybreak or uh, you know, Daybreak or Nightfall. I'm gonna just take the Daybreak. Make these things cost two less, so that next turn I can play a Brilliant Soul. Ooh, fresh soil. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. We don't we don't need that extra nightfall value right now. We just need to be able to play the cards in our hand. For they who endure. Did they find it? We know those two are the same. Okay, it is they who endure. Alright, so that's the ephemeral one. So we know that they have the normal one also. Gonna give all of my stuff spell shield and fury. They already had fury anyway. Um, let's get the elusive so we can give everything elusive. Level up Zoe's pretty sweet. Alright, so we're gonna have leveled up Aurelian Soul. Which means that our Great Beyond is gonna cost zero. <laughs> And even if they have, like, Ruination, they all have Spell Shield. Alright, so we'll give them all Elusive. They don't have the mana for They Who Endure plus Atrocity, also. Alright, who's the small one? You, Mountain Scryer? Alright. We'll give them all Challenger, also. Oh, wait, I should've played, I should've played the Scourge first. Wait, did I just lose? Did I just lose to Atrocity by playing that Scourge? I may have just lost to Atrocity by playing that Scourge. Which... <laughs> which wouldn't make sense. I would deserve it. Wow. I guess I, I deserve that, I guess. I did. Okay, start prediction. Yeah, I didn't think I could lose. I, I, uh, yeah, I missed that. I was having too much fun playing zero mana stuff. So Divergent Paths, of course, is obviously going to go. I guess I don't really need Spacey Sketcher either. I don't know. Star shaping will get us a really powerful card. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Dust helps out the dragon. I don't have very high hopes of Zoe. Like with Zoe staying alive and everything. I don't have very high hopes of that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to protect Zoe. But I wanted to wait until I could protect Zoe. And I'm not sure how. This is gonna be a deck that's gonna love dealing one damage. River shape the land and give it life. Ooh, River Shaper. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Sweep them away. Believe or burn. What form will the waters take? Right, River Shapers just strike anything. Um. Sister, Raven Stars. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. I of course want to find Aurelian Soul with his Raven Stars. Magic. They forced us to choose death or the blade. That's what I'm hoping. I become who I was always meant to be. That's 
That's a lot of mana they just wasted. Engulf them. You leave me no recourse. If they want to use spells to keep their river shapers alive through those things, go ahead. What form will the waters take? So is that 10? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, that is 10. I'm a little worried, like, obviously, like, karma, right? Like, I'm a little worried about karma, but I guess with them having, like, 10 cards in hand, maybe I don't need to be that worried about karma. So if I go Dust Eclipse Dragon, I'm getting two extra cards. I'm getting too many cards. So I need to play stuff. No! Wanted a really soul. We each hold a world within. We had two two out of three chance of getting a really soul. It may not be bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I have ten cards. What do they have? Four, eight, nine. They have nine cards. Alright, Zoe's are gone. Didn't really expect anything else, but I mean I, I spent zero mana on like on that Zoe and they spent five mana on their thing and you know. That's fine. Pretty healthy attack right there. Okay, I can I can assume that this is gonna be the turn they're gonna want to play Karma. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Okay, no karma. Okay, so they're just going to want Karma to be enlightened first. Now they see who I truly am. Hey, morning tea time. What is gained when you return malevolence? Not a big difference, you know, like this, like it loses one health. This block, I'll just have that lose one health, that's not, that's not a big deal. Uh, I don't even know what I made cost zero. What, Mountain Goat? Ah, maybe I should have grabbed the 3-4. Maybe I should have grabbed the 3-4. I did, you know, I had 10 cards in hand, right? Like, that's why my opponent's passing, because I have 10 cards in hand. Okay. Devotion for battle. You cannot win. Your lesson begins.
I'd rather obliterate karma. Be able to just keep on getting more cards than they do, and eventually winning with sheer card advantage. You would think. None of these seem that helpful. I shouldn't have grabbed this Fallen Comet. I should have grabbed another Traveler. Paint is just accidental art. No, I'm not scared of ruination. Not at all. Not at all. Ready yourself. The dragon binds us. Hydrogen. Cool. Cool. I guess now ruination may be a little bit better for them if I especially if I go Cadrogen. Okay, two denies down. They can only play three. There's two of them down already. They played three. They played three go hards. That's going to give them a ton more cards. Uh, pass. Because they'll be able to play a Karma for zero, and then they can have the Karma's champion spell. Did have pack your bags. Okay, so if I do that, I have two mana. I could have five mana if I sunburst. There's not really a difference between 
those two. I don't think they have another deny, right? Like, they've already played two denies. I'm not really expecting another deny, but... With just the three cards. Now they have all these cards, and maybe one of those was a deny. But they've gone through half the deck. Yeah. Cool. This one's ephemeral, I'm pretty sure. I think that karma is ephemeral. Maybe not. Oh, they had zero... Targon's Peak Hit Ruination. Oh, that's pretty nice. No, it's not ephemeral. Why did I think that one was ephemeral? Living Legends is zero. Yeah, why did I why did I think that was ephemeral? Stars would go grab an Aurelian Soul. So Living Legends would get me four cards right now. I guess that's as good as time as any to play it. You'll probably find more. The charger chases stars across the sky. That's not a bad Living Legends. Not a bad Living Legends. that thing. Has the Catrogen, the Infernal, take the Immortal Fire. <laughs> it's just like, how, how are they supposed to deal with all this stuff? You know, I just have infinite cards. What are they supposed to do? I just have a bunch of one mana deal one. And now, Mind Splitter will lock that down. A really until it levels up. So we should be 2-0, and oh. but, you know, I got real greedy. I could keep getting more greedy and play more stuff before attacking. But I guess I'll just attack this time, even though it's not nearly as fun. You've been wonderful, as have I. They had a lot of go hearts. All right. Ooh, Lee Sin is going to be difficult. We're going to need those hushes. Hey, there's a hush. Cool. I'll just keep this. You know, we got the Duskbringer Spacey Sketcher combo. And then a Priestess to invoke. Try to find some, you know, with the Priestess, look for removal. Ok, 
Okay, I want... While I could hush Zed, I'm just gonna throw a spacey sketcher in front of Zed. You're interesting. I think that's good enough. Uh Jeff X Ultimate getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there. Luck Fojet Gaming. Uh let's see. I'm going to pass also. Bank this mana. Oh, Solaris Unfolter. Alright, no hush for them. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Bask in her radiant blessing. Maybe I should be grabbing the warrior to be a challenger. Maybe that should be the warrior. Okay, Fogic. My bad, my bad. I'll try to remember that. And Sodium Umbrella! Happy holidays to you, to you and yours. Thank you so much. I am having a good stream. We're having some fun here. I punted the first game away. We won the second one. My opponent being super mean about this one for the third one. By them being super mean, I mean, you know, Big Zed attacking. The order. I do not have a good answer for Lee Sin and now, though. But that's what this, these invokers are supposed to do. Um, I can stun Lee Sin or get a Moon Silver. I'm not taking Living Legends, I'm taking one of these two. Um, let's take the stun. That can maybe help. Uh, help me gain an additional turn. I love seeing that. Yeah, I love seeing that. I, I'll, I'll deal with three twos all day long. You can have all the three twos you want. Just don't have... Uh, just don't have Lee Sin. Do I want to cast the super cool star chart? Yeah... Okay, you're at eight? I could I could have played two more cards before I did this. I could have played two more cards before attacking. I should have. They're looking for hush. Ah, they found it. Yeah, I could have played two more cards before attacking. I, I should have done that. I could have played played Equinox Mountain Goat. Or Priestess. Or tra Traveler, I mean, yeah, I, I should have leveled that up. Alright, we're gonna keep this thing from making draglings. Or not. But we, we can kind of see the, the purpose of having, like, the five mana landmark in our deck, because we're, we're, like, always gonna have many more cards and mana to spend than my opponents will have. I should have leveled up Zoe. I could have leveled up Zoe. I kind of, I just attacked too early and then, and then checked. Because if I would have, would have just leveled up Zoe first, you know, then it would be leveled up for the rest, you know, and then it would have the whole rest of the game thing. That was, that was my bad. That just should not have attacked there. Uh, let's see. Because then I could have gave all these things lifesteal, for example, everything challenger. Yeah. I think the card I want to play this turn is going to be the warrior. Defiance is our way. Believe or burn. Is this what you seek? Uh, 
That's a great draw. I don't want to use it now. I'd rather use it against Lee Sin. Okay, good. So that's still a great draw to have access to. It looks like they have a lot of cards in hand, but they only have three that is not a gem. Alright, get a card out of my hands. Zoe, you should be leveled up. My bad. Ha. Yeah, they just can't play anything. Is they, If they just have three spells and then all gems, they just can't play anything. GG's. Welcome back, Rad. Rad, you want to do the prediction thing? Just start that if you can. If not, I'll do it. Lucian Hecarim. I have been very impressed with these Luc Lucian Hecarim decks. I like all these cards. This is definitely a slow hand. We're going to be building up our spell mana to start with. Okay. So I, could, I could, you know, discard a sketcher for a sketcher. Kind of see what they got. Because that still leaves me my two mana for Pale Cascade. The Beast. Moonsilver is nice. Helps speed us up. Ooh, that's new. Mm, no obliterate. I would have preferred an obliterate. Um, I'll take the. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yeah, Plaza's pretty dumb. I understand voting against me. Plaza's pretty dumb. I mean, this is this is why we're playing the three mana destroy landmark card, right? Which I guess I could have. Uh, could have had. Oh, we, we did play a Zoe Victor deck, like, the first day, and I liked it. I thought it, it did pretty well. Um, but yeah, you, could, you can definitely play Zoe Victor. That can be a thing. Definitely. Four twos. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Don't get in my way. No room for doubt. I honestly don't know which one of those I should kill. I mean, I guess it's got to be Hecarim. I guess it's got to be Hecarim. But that's... I don't know. Um, the solution's basically leveled up now. Three 
return to us. Oh, that's just game. Same matchup. At least this one won't have Hecarim, so that's good. No Hecarim here. So that's definitely better, I suppose. Love it. Yes. All right, we got our Destroy Landmark card. Okay, already looking better. Star Shaving's a little slow. We're going to mulligan that one. Um, maybe Priestess is a little slow, too, actually. Kind of think of it. We'll try mulliganing Priestess as well. But yeah, I should have, I should have looked for the, the stun, too. Last game, but still, even even if I would have stunned two there, like I don't I don't really know like what we're not close to killing them, and like how do we just stop them from attacking us and killing us the next turn? We don't really, but well, I definitely wish I would have the three mana one two right now because I don't have anything to play. Sure is dark, eh? Okay, they're not playing. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and kill Lucian. They didn't play the landmark. Six mana to get rid of their two mana champion. Puts us behind a little bit. Just a little bit. Do I block Hush Grizzled Ranger? Interesting. Targon's history is in each stone and star. No, I don't have. Oh wait, I, I have mana. Never mind. Okay. Ooh. I thought I had two. You know, I was just looking at the two. I thought I had two mana there. Okay, I panicked for a second. All right, cool. The stars across the sky. Here we go. Protector, shield me. I fight for the fallen. Let's see what's out there. Take down a Radiant Guardian, maybe? No, not that lucky. Not to that lucky. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. So I'd only gain four life, but I think this is the best time for me to play this card. Interesting. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. All right, Crescent Strike can be nice. Let's play in the Eclipse Dragon with Daybreak. Make the Aurelian Soul cost less. Justice will be served. Making the dead dead. Maybe I'll do this. <laughs> that mountain scar had a cliff bar. 
All right, GG's. There we go. See what happens when you can destroy the landmark? Victory Good things. Today, Good things happen when you can destroy the landmark. And, um, yeah, I mean, that, that Grand Plaza is just so strong that, you know, you got to play Divergent Paths, basically. You know, and, and it doesn't even trade down in mana, thankfully. You know, three and three mana-wise. That's pretty good. I was I was pretty impressed with our deck. I liked it. I think it was good. I, I like what we had here. I liked like the the one of Targon's peaks and the Divergent Pass, you know, for that. And then our, our top end was good with like the Aurelian Soul and everything. And and we already know that just like um, invoking is really strong. So we have our you know double priestess Mountain Scryer invoke that was really strong. Zoe was awesome. Um, you know, like I I messed up by not leveling up the Zoe the one the one time. Um, was that the game? Did we lose that game that I didn't level up Zoe? Was that... That was that game four that we lost, right? That I didn't level up Zoe? Is, is that correct? Or is that game three that we still won? I don't remember. Um, you know, the, obviously the first one that I lost, I really should not have lost. You know, so like this should have been a 4-1. Um, I, I was just, you know, showing off by playing more, uh, you know, more zero mana invoke, you know, celestial things. And I, I didn't need to do that. I, I really should have won that game. And then, you know, like game, the, our game four that we lost is, you know, very good hand with Plaza, and Plaza just wrecks. So all in all, I have to say I was, I was definitely impressed with just Mono Targon. Mono Targon seems to have a, just a really wonderful top end with all these invoke cards and everything. And and I think there's I think there's something here. I think this is a, a I also think this is a pretty good deck. It's just, you know, how can you deal with the Grand Plaza um, consistently? And the game four that I lost to, the game five, when we played against Grand Plaza, I had a Divergent Pass in my opener. Game four, I did not have a Divergent Pass. I kept good cards, but I think I needed to mulligan those good cards and look for Divergent Pass. So that's something just to kind of keep in mind moving forward. That you probably just have to uh, mulligan everything and if you do not have Divergent Pass against a Grand Plaza deck. All right, but there we go. That's Mountain Zoe. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know. Um, what you think of the deck, how to go, you know, like with just mono Targon here. Um, yeah. What do, what do you think of, uh, playing all Targon? All right, but that's it here for Mountain Zoe. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.